Hello there, this is Valentine's. I want to tell you a love story. Not a fairy tale type story, but more a testament to the kind of love that changes people forever. It takes place on our own doorstep and its leading stars are a local family, supported by the staff and volunteers of Northern Ireland Hospice. This is a story of love about making every moment count. When Philomena was 27, she was diagnosed with cervical cancer. It wasn't so long after that Philomena had met her husband and he immediately fell in love with her personality. It was hard not to. Philomena was then told that she wouldn't have long to live and that she should live every day like it was her last. Philomena took those words and she ran with that. For us, when we heard the word hospice, we were absolutely terrified. It was so daunting for someone even to mention those words. Phil's room was like a home away from home, and the nurses and staff became like an extended family for us. It was only a few days before Valentine's Day when Phil had arrived. She had arranged a dinner in Belfast with her husband. But at that stage, we knew that she wouldn't make it. Those nurses went and they decorated that room into what we classed it as the love hub. It was decorated with beautiful balloons, confetti, candlelit dinner, and they ordered in Philomena's favorite food. It was those little things that made the biggest difference, making memories in the hospice, something that we thought we could never do. By far, the biggest thing the hospice helped us to achieve was to make Phil a bridesmaid for our sister Maureen on her wedding day. Knowing that Maureen's wedding was weeks away, the nurses came together here and they worked with us to be able to bring Maureen's wedding date forward so that Phil could fulfil her final wish. They instilled the belief in Philomena that she was able to walk down that aisle. They made sure that Philomena knew the amount of energy that she had, not to sit back, not to let that cancer take over. And I think that that's something that we can't thank the hospice enough for instilling that belief in us and in Philomena because she nearly ran down that aisle. We want to be able to give people the same sort of opportunity, be able to create the same memories in the hospice. That's the least we could do. £40,000 a day it costs to meet the palliative of care needs of local adults and children and their loved ones. And it all happens at Northern Ireland Hospice. It is a lot of money. The demand is ever increasing. Valentine's Day, like every other day, brings a chance for precious moments to be had and precious moments to be made at the hospice. It's about adding life to days, even when it's not possible to add days to life. It's about dignity. It's about delivering the highest quality of specialist palliative care to local people in our community. But we need your help. By donating whatever you can this Valentine's, you will help hospice to continue to deliver these essential services to local people just as they did for Philomena and her family. Together, we can make every moment count. Please spread the love this Valentine's. Thank you.